So the first secret is this. The first secret, what are the secrets to a satisfying relationship? The first is this commitment. Say that wherever you are, commitment. This is the foundation. Great and lasting relationships are founded on what? Say that with me wherever you are. I found out what? Commitment. So that's the first C. And would you believe that? This is something that in our society today we throw away. Right? You say, I'm sick and tired of this. I, I, I don't, I don't, I'm not going to do this anymore. I'm not going to go with this person anymore. Right? I, I'm not going to talk to them anymore. That's something that has become so disposable in our relationship. No wonder our, rela- rela- our society, no wonder our relationships are suffering. And when you throw away commitment, my brother, my sister, so goes the relationship. Do you believe that? Relationships are founded not on love. They are built on commitment. Because you're going to come in and out of love. Today you love each other. Have you ever seen a couple who is really in love? They're getting ready to get married. They're telling each other, I love you, I love you all the time. Oh, I love you more, I love you more, I love you more, I love you more, I love you more. No, I love you more, I love you to the moon and back. And over time, what happens? The love wins. But what keeps them together is not the love. What keeps them together is what? Their commitment. Actually, it is the commitment that what? Enhances and builds and causes their love to last. So the building block, my brother, my sister, of a satisfying relationship, the first C is what? Commitment. See, oftentimes I hear people say, we don't love each other anymore. You know what they're really saying? And sometimes they don't know that. What they're really saying is that that we are not committed to the relationship anymore. We're not committed to each other anymore. We are not committed to some of the things that we want to do in this relationship together. We're not committed to raising our kids together. We're not committed to really trying to build a future for ourselves. They, they, They are not committed. Not that we don't love each other anymore. It's, I, I, just, I just don't love this person anymore. Well, you're not committed. Because when you commit to something, you're going to love it. You will love anything that you are committed to, right? If you love your body, you're going to what? <laughs> if you're committed to your body, you're going to love your body. If, you, if you're committed to your job, you're going to love your job. If you don't love your job, right? So whatever it is that sucks in your life, when you begin to understand that commitment drives love. If you really don't love your kids anymore, start, start getting committed to them. Committed to their future. Committed to their well-being. Guess what? It will evoke love in your heart. You say, my boyfriend, my girlfriend, my spouse, I'm re- I don't, really don't love them. Commitment sparks love in your heart. If you don't love somebody, generally because you're not committed to them. Look at what the Bible says in Proverbs 18, 24. It's right on the screen. Let's read that together. It says what? One who has what? Unreliable friends soon comes to ruin. But what? There is a friend who sticks closer than what? A brother. So you see? Sticking closer gets you closer to the other. So God is using these metaphors. These are strangers. These are just people who don't come from the same area, have nothing in common. They are just mere friends, but they can become even stronger than than relatives by doing what? Sticking together. Is it you, you, you got the message? Is anyone feeling the message together? So commitment is the building block for a satisfying, lasting relationship. So he says, you know, one who has unreliable friends soon comes to ruin. It's basically saying, he says, it's not how many companions you have that's important. It's not how many folks you have on your Facebook page, on your Twitter page, on your Instagram page. Not how many people you can invite to your birthday party. As a matter of fact, if you want to throw a birthday party and give free food to people, a lot of people will dress up and come, right? We all know that. You can fill your whole basement. You can fill your whole backyard with a bunch of people. If you say, come on in, come on in, don't, don't even bring a gift. They'll come, they'll dance, they'll eat, they'll hang around and so forth. It says, it's not how many people that you have that really gives you a satisfied relationship, but it's what? Committed. Committed. One who has unre- unreliable friends will soon come to a room. Pure, a lot of friends. But there is a friend. Maybe just one or two or however many they are. It's not the quantity, but it is that sticking together. It drives a last and satisfying relationship. Now look at look what, what the Good News Translation says with this verse. Good News Translation. Perhaps 1824. Oh, let, let's read that again. It says what? Some friendships do not last. Why? 
but some friends are what? More loyal than what? Why don't they last? Because they're not loyal. They're not committed. But it says, you know, the difference maker, the game changer in relationships is that C word. The first C is what? Say that with me, whatever you want. Committed. So if you want to really cause changes in your relationship, things to get better in the home with your spouse, with your family member, with your friend, with your neighbor, with your customers, what? Be committed. Loyalty. Being reliable, being committed is the same thing, and God is talking about this. Now, in the New Testament and the Old Testament, the word commitment or being reliable is called a covenant. A covenant between people. It says friendships were built, or they went to land, not just to say, I love you, and then exchange rings around, and what have you, and send calls to each other, and send Facebook messages to one another. No, no, no. They proved that by what? Having a covenant. We have a bone together. And oftentimes, they did it with blood. And that was the commitment in which they stood on. So the Bible says, first and foremost, for you and I to develop great and lasting relationships, we must be what? Committed. Amen. 